Hello there, this is Dax. Um, it's been a while since I've posted anything and I'm not certain what to post, so I just figured I'd record myself rambling and... Who knows, maybe something interesting will come from this. Chances are, probably what will happen is let the two of you who watch this video will go, This guy sucks! Click! And then my next video won't have any viewers, but... Something interesting might come of this, I don't know. I think I'm going to start by simply saying I like the human race. I've talked to a lot of people who don't seem to like the human race at all. Um, about five years ago I used to work at Walt Disney World. I was there at Rafiki's Planet Watch. I think it was five years ago. I'm, I'm not certain. It all kind of blends together. Um, but I'd, I'd work at Rafiki's Planet Watch at uh, Disney World. And every once in a while, I'd, I, I was there at the counter, is where I was a lot of the time, you know. It had the snake skins there, and the turtle shells, and the bird feathers, and you know, kids would come up and they'd be allowed to touch this stuff, and I'd tell them about, you know, oh, this is a rabbit skull, and things like that. And, you know, because of where I worked, the environment was always part of the conversation. And there would always be someone who would come up to me and I guess they they always assumed that I would agree with them or something, but their their stance was always the best thing that could ever happen to this planet is if you know the entire human race were to die off in some kind of holocaust. And, you know, these were very obviously people who didn't like people. <sighs> My attitude on that subject, the human race is kind of like a teenager, uh, a confused teenager. But I, I call the human race a teenager and not a child, because a child knows that they don't know anything. They're willing to sit back and be taught. They're willing to ask questions. Whereas a teenager, they've got it all figured out. They think they do. They think they know everything. You know, you can't say anything to them because they know better than you do. And it's, it's not until life has beat them up a few times for being wrong that they finally mature they realize that they've got more to learn and now they're an adult. And that's kind of where our entire species is at, is we're, we're a teenage kid. And, and the best thing for the Earth to, well, the best thing that could happen to the Earth is not for the human race to die in a car wreck or whatever. It's for the human race to grow up. Um, the human race is part of the earth. You know, we're made from the earth, we're from the earth, and if you wanted to think of planet earth as a living thing, then we are a part of that living thing. And the best thing for a living thing to do is not to chop off a perfectly healthy limb. Um, we just need to grow up. We need to realize that we're not separate individuals. We need to realize that you can't just go over here and do whatever you want and that it won't affect you or anything else or who cares. We've got to get past that mentality. Um, of course I'm filming this and it hasn't been too long since the the Gulf of Mexico oil spill, the BP oil spill. And that's, that's a very good illustration of what I was talking about with the human race being a teenager, is that the whole reason why the oil spill occurred in the first place is because we decided that it was worthwhile to go and get oil. Um, you know, it was worth it money-wise to 
you know, get the oil because people want to drive their cars, they want to make their plastics and all of this stuff. And so they were out there drilling the oil. I say they because it was a company, but it was actually we as the human race that was doing it. You, you can't leave yourself out of the equation, not if you want to be realistic. But so they were out there drilling the oil because we thought that we knew what we were doing. And then the oil spill occurs, and our solution to that problem, because we know what we're doing, is to spray the oil with chemical dispersants. And then, because we know what we're doing, we then went out and told everybody that it was safe to eat the seafood that's been swimming in the oil and the chemical dispersant. And that's, you know, we're not paying any heed to the consequences of these actions. We, we're so certain that we've got it figured out. Um, an, another example of how we're a teenage kid, I've got a friend of mine. He's, he, he's a good friend. He's a good guy. But he's, he's going to school to be a doctor right now and he has completely bought into this mentality that doctors actually know what they're doing. And, you know, some doctors know more than others. And just like anyone else in any other field, it's the ones who admit what they don't know everything that know a lot more than the ones who don't. And we were actually having a conversation about Viagra. And he, he was trying to tell me that a chemical like Viagra that was never meant to be introduced into the body can be placed in the human body with zero side effects. And of course, the, the, re, the direction he was coming from is that, um, you know, the medical research is there, and, you know, apparently... Viagra has been out long enough for there to be research that there are no side effects. And I was, I was just trying to get the guy to understand that this pharmaceutical has not been out long enough for us to know whether there are any side effects or not. Yeah, you can't... Well, this is actually what I was trying to get across to him. You cannot introduce the body to something that it was never meant to be subjected to and not have side effects. The question is, what are the side effects and how bad are they? And I was trying to explain to him that it's going to be another, probably another 10 or 20 years before we even know if a pharmaceutical like Viagra will have any side effects or not. We just don't know. But because we, the human race, are a teenager, well, we know everything. And so we're going to subject ourselves to these pharmaceuticals as if there's no consequence. We're going to do all kinds of things as if there is no, as if there is no consequence because we know all that there is to know supposedly. And we will continue to know all that there is to know until something comes up, bites us in the ass, and proves that we didn't know anything. Um, well, I guess that's my spiel for the evening. Hope I didn't bore you with it. Hope that there was something useful here. I don't know. But anyway, I, I hope you guys have a great evening. Um, I really do love the human race. I love the planet Earth. Even the horrible things we've done to it, it's still a beautiful planet. It's a good place to be. We just need to grow up and realize that there are side effects to everything you do. So, well, yeah, I guess I'll end it on a little saying. There's this saying that I read in a book way back when once that I really liked. The, the saying is quite simply, for everything you do, 
there's a consequence that you saw coming and three others that you didn't. And I'll leave it with that. Got a train out in the distance making all kinds of noise. I hope it wasn't too distracting. But, well, you guys have a good night. See ya.